How to create next page in Google Forms. Hey everyone and welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to do so. So basically, we wanted to create a few questions and then we move on to the next page and then we move on to the next page and so on. So it is actually very simple. Uh, so we can just go ahead and start with a blank form and I will show you exactly what we need to what we need to do. So first, you just you can just go ahead and give this form a title. So I'm just going to name it test form for next page. And then obviously if you want to give it a description feel free to do so here you can you can just go ahead and start with the first question so question one with option one option two option three and option four maybe we'll want to also add another question before we jump into the next page so we can just go ahead and name it question for some reason it's actually deleting my uh text anyways with a question two with option one two and three and four so now we want to make it so that it is um, moving on to the next page now. So instead of adding another question with the plus icon on the right side, we want to actually add another section. So click on add a section. And now we have section two of two. And just go ahead and give it a name. Remember, the section title is not a question. So just give it a name. Uh, we can name it page two. And then from page two, you would want to add your questions here. So you can just go ahead and do question one of page two with the, uh, you know, typical four options. And we can also add another one because why not? Question two of page two. And then you can feel free to add the options. And let's just create one more page. So we can just add a section. We can just go ahead and name it um, option two of page one. So I named it this way because we can actually make it so that whenever someone picks this option uh, or any option, really, it's just going to take us instead of here. We can actually let it take us to, you know, the exact section we want it to be. Uh, maybe it does not make sense for you, but I'm just going to make it make sense in a little bit. So let's just go ahead and add one question here. Question one of section three. And, you know, a few options. So now we should have three different pages. And we can just go ahead and preview our form and see how it actually looks like. We can actually see now we have the first thing here, question one, question two. And we have, you know, um, the option to click on next to move on to the next page, as we can see. Same goes here, click on next, and it's just going to take us to that one. But why did I name this option two of page one? It's because we can actually do something a little bit different here. So if we just go back to the editing, what we can do is that we can click on this question here and we can click on um, go to section based on answer. So if you click on that, we can actually make it to option two of page one so option two of page one i believe it's just going to be this one instead uh, but anyways we can actually make it so that if somebody answers for this one it's actually going to take them to section three immediately instead you know so you can actually work with this so you can be more creative with it and make it so that option one is going to take you to a completely different section option two is going to take you to a another section and so on so hopefully this made sense. It's a little bit, uh, it may seem complicated, but it really isn't. And we can also make it so that they submit the form from here. So we can actually go in and click here. Um, and we can do the same thing. Go to section based on answer. This one is just going to be a submit form, submit form, submit form, and submit form. This way it's not going to go on a loop. And we are pretty much good to go. Now we can just go ahead and keep on going from one page to another and so on. So basically, sections are the pages. So if you want to create a new page, add a section. Hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching.